Hello Virgos, what's up? This is Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. So this is your August reading. Um, you know, if you guys have joined me before, you know that I always start with love and I usually do like a Celtic cross. Um, this time I'm going to do what I call is like the whole, the entire story, the whole story. Uh, and we're going to go through the entire deck, okay? So there is a lot of shuffling. If you don't like shuffling, then you probably won't like this video. But it's going to be soft, soft shuffling. It's just a way for me to more efficiently um, channel the energy. Okay, so let's get started, Virgo. We have the full reverse, the strength reverse. So yeah, there's something um, that you don't feel too confident about. You don't really feel like sticking your neck out there for anyone. Uh, we have death here and the three of cups reverse. Hmm. The queen of cups. The hangman reverse. Five of Cups. So, I feel like you guys are um, facing a potential, possibly an ending of a relationship or an ending of a, a situation. Uh, for some of you, it could be a third party that you're ending it with. Um, but what I'm getting is that there are still, you know, feelings for this person. You don't want to let them go. But at the same time, you can't keep, you, you understand that you can't keep holding on to the situation because you just, there's something that's holding you back from allowing this uh, relationship to pro progress. Uh, it's like there's a blockage there, an emotional blockage. Um, and I feel like it's, you know, because of your insecurities, you guys may tend to hold on to or try to control situations is what I'm getting. Um, and by doing that, I feel like you, you try to, um, yeah, it's like control every detail, every little detail of everything. Uh, and it, it kind of sabotages your relationships. And it's, it's almost like you know you're doing it in a sense, but you can't stop. And then other times you don't even know you're doing it. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords. So three queens here. Uh, right next to the Three of Cups. Yay, I feel like somebody was dealing with more than one person, clearly me I feel like there were three people involved here um, there are three queens so this could be you know a, a relationship be between three women um, or it's a man with three women so I don't know however that resonates but there's a lot of people here um, It's interesting because, like I said, we have the Queen of Cups right there, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, but who is missing is the Queen of Pentacles, which would be you, um, but not necessarily. I mean, these can just represent like the energies that are around or how these people portray themselves. And we have a King of Cups. So. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, I'm saying that because I'm looking at the, the death card. I mean, it could be any sign, really. I'm not even going to get into the signs because it, it really doesn't even matter. But I, I'm getting the sense here that there are things that you can no longer, you know, look away from. There's things that have been going on around you that you can't really defend anymore. You can't pretend like you don't see them um, just because you want to continue in a way. And I'm sorry, this is sounding like so harsh, but I feel like I'm just saying, you know, whatever comes to me. But I just feel like you're, you've been not wanting to see 
the truth about this relationship that there is a lot of illusion and, and fantasy around it. Um, and not really, you know, something that makes you feel like it's it's for the long term. It's actually a situation that has you kind of all like with your bags packed. That's what I'm getting. Like you're, you always have your bags packed. Like you're always ready to walk out the door at a moment's notice. Um, but, you know, I don't like the way these came out. Sorry. Um, I just feel like you're sacrificing, you know, you're sacrificing the true love because of fear and, and which kind of makes sense why, you know, if you are a Virgo dealing with somebody who can't seem to commit and always have, you know, an abundant, like a Virgo woman with, who's with a man who, you know, has multiple women, he's a womanizer and you know it, but you don't really want to acknowledge it or whatever it is. A lot of times, you know, we fall into these patterns because we're looking for men who are, and, and this goes vice versa, men or women, we're looking for a partner who is unavailable to us because then it's like we already know it's not going to, you know, it's like we don't get our hopes up high. We know exactly what we're dealing with down, deep down in our subconscious. And that's why we always have this bag packed, this, you know, metaphorical bag constantly packed because you don't know what's going to happen in this relationship and it's almost like you're always expecting the worst you know you're always expecting to have to change directions um it's like when something starts to look too good to be true or it starts to last then the, it's like something's got to be wrong with it you know what i mean that's just what I'm getting here. So again, that could be vice versa. Could be either you feeling this way or your partner. But somebody here is feeling like that. <clears throat> I also feel like there's a lot of holding back of feelings. Um, yeah, I'm getting, you know, it's, it's difficult. I don't know if it's for you or for your partner, but it's difficult for somebody to feel satisfied there's always like a feeling of there's something missing there's something else there's something better um this is too good to be true so let's find what's wrong with it and then we'll be free to search for something better you know i feel like there's comfort in knowing that or comfort in that search for something better because i don't know accepting that what you have is good enough is is kind of a lot of pressure because now you're not going to want to lose it. You know what I mean? So I just feel like, um, yeah, it, it, it's it's relationship patterns. And I guess, you know, you guys will know if it resonates or if it doesn't. If it doesn't, it may be just your partner feeling this way or this may not just, you know, be for you. But that is what I'm getting here. So... We left off here with the Seven of Pentacles. Again, that feeling that you're not really getting what you put into something. Judgment reverse. Maybe that people misjudge you as well or underestimate you. Three of Wands reverse. I feel like this is like a lack of vision for the future not really even wanting to look that far is kind of what I'm getting the five of swords reverse because it, it you know it causes a lot of mental anxiety having to think that far down the line or have any kind of um, attachment or commitment it, it just kind of complicates things the high priestess reverse the ten of wands Princess of Cups, Ten of Swords, Reverse, Nine of Cups. Yeah, I'm really going to say that I feel like around this time, um, there's, there's, 
an unveiling or a revelation of something that was like really deep within you that you never acknowledged or never never knew it was there for some of you it's it's these feelings that you know what we've been talking about um of not allowing yourself to experience you know the joy of like a good relationship because as soon as you feel like oh this this is starting to look too good to be true let's find something wrong with it it's that's that's what i'm feeling here i'm sorry guys um but that's what i'm getting uh and so there's like a sabotaging of relationships um and but it's like a, a cycle a self-soothing kind of cycle but you're not you're not realizing it that that you're kind of working against yourself because I do feel like you want a good solid relationship it just when you get too close to one you sabotage it in some way or you constantly uh, find yourself in relationships with people who are emotionally unavailable Okay, so we have two cards here, the Nine of Cups Reverse and the Chariot Reverse. Both are cards of not getting your way, not having what you want, okay? And then the Eight of Wands Reverse, so something not moving forward in, in the way that you want it to. And this may have been unexpected. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune Reverse, so some sort of change that was unexpected and it was not not good nine of swords causing a lot of anxiety so this could be what you guys may be facing here in august um we have the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles i feel like this is good though in a way because You see the seven of pentacles where we left off it's it's just such a gloomy card it's like nothing around you looks positive um and so with the card that followed it was judgment reverse which kind of tells me that it's a skewed sense of reality things aren't as bad as they seem um and even if they are at the moment they're the energy will switch up at some point nothing lasts forever so I don't know. I feel like I feel like this is being stuck in a in a state of pessimism and not listening to you know your inner voice anymore. Uh, and, and things just feel a lot heavier. They feel you know a lot gloomier, a lot darker. Your heart chakra is closed. It's like you're you're ending relationships before they even have a chance to start. Is what I'm getting. But it's yourself blocking you know your abundance, your happiness, your joy. Um, by blocking yourself off from others, even having, you know, open communication with other people. I feel like you're definitely cutting yourself off from the rest of the world and, and from relationships in some cases in general. And um, you're starting to see the effects of that and they're negative because we have the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse. So there's just things, you know, that you're realizing about yourself that have caused blockages or delays in your life that were unnecessary um, but it was due to like a, a need to control outcomes um, due to fear, fear, anxiety, that kind of thing. Um, with the two of pentacles here, I'm, I'm feeling like things had to come to this point so that you can be faced with a choice. That's what this two of pentacles is showing me. A choice, especially in the, next to the three of pentacles, is like a choice to progress. We need to move forward. We need to work you know for ourselves and not against ourselves and, and that's what I feel has been happening here for you guys um, we have the two of swords again that choice that decision it's really yours and yours alone to stop this cycle that you've been on the moon the moon is here pretty prominently in both of these cards <clears throat> so again I feel like the choice is very much about Allowing yourself to look deep enough to understand what it is that you're really wanting out of life, out of relationships. What kind of relationship do you really envision for yourself? And be honest with yourself, not, not you know, answer that question just kind of settling because you're too afraid to get into something bigger. 
because look at this we have the magician card here it's like whatever it is that you envision for yourself you can totally totally manifest um so i feel like you know letting fear hold you back is 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 it's a mistake it's if you guys have been feeling lonely or you've been feeling disconnected, this is something you can completely change so easily. Because there are people who want to come back into your life is what I'm getting. Um, maybe you've been blocking communication from somebody, some, some, some of these people or a partner. Yeah. Princess of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you guys may be warming up to the idea of reconnecting with someone. <clears throat> someone who you previously were very happy with, but it ended and it hurt you a lot. Or there's somebody around you who wants to come back and reconnect with you. Yeah, see? Princess of Wands. With It's like they want to talk about this heartbreak that happened between the two of you. The, the breakup, the... The pain they want to reconnect somebody wants to reconnect with you or you want to reconnect with someone else oh i shouldn't have done that well let's pick these up and and then continue we've got the justice card here in reverse as what follows all right so we have the seven of pentacles was the last one and then the three of swords and we're starting here with Justice Reverse. So, yeah, there was some, uh, somebody either did you wrong or you did them wrong. I'm feeling like someone did you wrong. And that's why you're so, you know, kind of standoffish uh, when it comes to relationships. Seven of Cups, the Devil Reverse, the Empress Reverse, the Ace of Wands Reverse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you have a, a hard time believing that somebody is sincere. Believing that it's not bullshit, that it's not all just an act. Um, and so, yeah, you close yourself off to, you know, giving yourself openly. Um, I feel like also it, 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 it has been affecting you and like you're... Uh, like sexual desire even. I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay, we have the Hermit Reverse. And the Four of Wands. I feel like someone wants to achieve balance again. They, they want to, you know, see if... They don't feel like you'll be open to them, though. They want to come back, but they just don't feel like you'll be open to them. Because I feel like when the relationship ended, it, it was so painful. And it was so, like, toxic and nasty. It got really bad. And again, I'm getting the sense that there was a lot of um, other people involved. I, I truly feel like you guys were with... Um, like if this, if you're a female Virgo female, you were with a womanizer or, you know, the opposite, whatever, but yeah, King of Wands reverse and the Ace of Swords reverse. Eight of Swords reverse, the Four of Swords reverse. Wow. So many reversals here. Prince of Wands reverse. I just feel like you're completely closed off. It's like, you no, I've already moved on. I have no desire for you anymore. Uh, I've seen, you know, what you're capable of. And you're a liar. And I don't wish, but this person's coming back. Somebody's coming back to see you. I just don't think you're too excited to see them. <laughs> King of Swords, King of Wands, both reverse. Everything's reverse. 
yeah, this is like, I don't want any part of it. I don't want to talk to you. I've already set myself free. I don't want to go back to the past. The Hierophant Reverse. Commitment is not something you want to do right now. You just don't trust enough. Um, I mean, somebody would really have to do something major for to spark that in you again is what I'm feeling. We have Temperance Reverse and the Ace of Cups. For some of you, this is an ex-spouse wanting to come back and, and, and remarry you, and you don't want that. Princess of Swords. For others of you, um, this is just simply that you are only open to very you know sweet but like superficial relationships uh very you know maybe even with like younger people because you feel like um it's just safer somehow you know like they're there you can handle them or something like that king of pentacles yeah it's like a, you feel you like to be right now in a, in a relationship where even if it's not with a younger person, but it's a, a relationship where you feel like you are the person, the dominant person. You are the one who calls the shots and, you know, you you are in control. Um, that's the only way. But look at this. We have the Queen of Pentacles right next to this King of Pentacles. Hmm. Which I'm kind of suspecting there's either already someone in your life or there's somebody coming into your life that's going to exactly what we were saying like somebody would like have to knock your socks off i feel like somebody's coming that's going to knock your socks off so let's continue from there <laughs> you're fighting this virgo it's 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 not really something you're welcoming in but that is what i'm getting let's see Hmm. The sun, so joy, happiness. It also does represent um, Leo, and we are in Leo season, so that can be as well. Prince of Cups, yes. There's there's like a, a very like a relationship that sparks joy, and it's it's very effortless, is what I'm getting. Could be with a water sign, could be with a Leo. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo. Ace of Pentacles, reverse. Nine of Wands, reverse. What I feel here is that you're 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 going to take it slow. I mean, it's logical. We see what you've been through. Logically, you're going to take it slow. But I feel like little by little, your guard is going to come down with this person. Six of Pentacles reverse. And the Prince of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting that it, it, it's going to be... It's going to be a pretty slow process, you know, because it's like you want them to prove themselves. You're not going to give too much. Um, it's like they kind of, it's going to be an uneven sort of relationship for a while uh, so that you can bring your guard down. There will be no, you know, you're, you're definitely not going to be giving more than, than you need to in any sense. Okay. Um, I do feel like this relationship is going to allow you to heal from a lot of uh, broken relationships that you had in the past, especially a major one. So it could have been for some of you like a marriage that went really bad and left you pretty messed up. Um, I feel like that's being healed through this um, situation. We have the four of pentacles reverse, which is also about letting go. 
of old thought patterns old habits the eight of cups reverse is about the things that you weren't able to let go from the past i feel like now you're letting it go look you're conquering it with the six of wands we have the nine of pentacles reverse and the world reverse yeah see the nines are about being almost at the end okay so this is like almost at the end of you feeling like you're not enough like you're not worthy like things don't really have the value that they seem to have i feel like it's it's the end of that you're 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 going to meet someone or somebody's coming into your life that is really going to show you that yeah it does exist okay but look at this we have the last card here is the star reverse so what i feel here is that it's it really it's all going to depend on you and whether or not you can change the mindset whether or not you can allow yourself to open yourself up you know like how long is this process here going to take where you're not giving at all you're not budging you're not you, you know you're not allowing people to come in that here is the tricky part because we don't know how much somebody can endure okay that's one aspect or for how long um, that's another aspect or whether or not you know you're willing to eventually bring down these walls I mean this is just the potential but it's really up to you but I, I feel like this pessimism this this feeling like you can't have it you you'll, you'll never have it it doesn't exist that is what's blocking this energy this person from coming into your life and it's your counterpart it could be your soulmate that you are blocking Virgo okay so that is your whole story I hope you enjoyed that I, I've been enjoying it so far it's it's actually really fun and I don't know I really like it so leave me your comments and let me know all right so let's move on to your finance reading and see what's going on with your money this month Virgo What do we have? Six of coins reverse, king of cups, lovers reverse, the five of cups reverse, and the two of wands. Um, uh, okay, so couple of different messages I feel like um, some of you like as a result of a decision could have been a poor decision because I feel like there's regret attached to this so as a result of possibly a poor decision you may need to ask for help from maybe parents um, family members somebody you look up to yeah like that you may need to be taken under someone's wing to to recuperate from some sort of financial loss as a result of some regrettable decision that was made okay um i do feel for some of you you may be needing to move maybe unexpectedly because i don't know bills piled up you and you're having to get out of wherever you are quickly and so again the need for help is what i'm getting overwhelmingly this month okay virgos so let's take a look let's see what this lovers reverse is the high priestess reverse yeah it was a decision that you made like you you weren't following your gut i feel like quite the opposite i feel like um your gut was telling you not to do something perhaps and you did it anyway and um yeah things didn't go well we have the nine of pentacles though let's see I feel like this really had good, it was like a good potential, but you may have chosen the wrong thing. The sun. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like you missed out on something or... or let's see, let's keep going. Six of coins reverse is clarified by the page of wands. Whoa. The moon. Uh, 
You know what I feel? I feel like somebody went on impulse and they got carried away because they, they there was like something shiny, you know, something caught your attention or, or somebody around you, but this affected you financially. Um, it was like a really good deal, you know, something like that, or I don't know. It was, it was a poor decision based on like impulse and, and because something looked really good or it, it looked like a good opportunity or something like that. And it was very impulsive um not having you know all the details that you really should have gotten um before you know deciding to go along with this it was some sort of contract or something or maybe accepting some some kind of job that you didn't know it was going to be this way and it kind of led to some loss or a needing for help maybe you got in like over your head that's what I'm kind of getting to for some of you. You're, like you got in, in over your head on something. You didn't know the details or maybe the details were like hidden from you. Okay, we have this Knight of Cups reverse with the King of Cups. And then we have the King of Cups reverse as well. So you could be dealing with a water sign with regards to your finances. Um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Three of Cups. Hmm. What I'm getting here is that whoever it is that you're asking for help or or whoever is like offering help, I feel like they don't have they either they don't know what they're doing, they they think they know what they're doing but they don't or they're being deceptive somehow um or like spiteful or you know like wanting to see you fail something like that. So it'll be different for each of you but for some of you, it's not that that bad. It's it's more like somebody who thinks they they know more than they actually do, and they're trying to help, but they end up, you know, creating more issues. Okay, so let's see. We have the Five of Cups reverse here. Is the present energy? Um, it's going to be more of an inconvenience. That's what I'm picking it up as. More of an inconvenience. Five of Cups reverse. We have the Eight of Wands, Judgment reverse, the Three of Wands reverse, and the Ace of Wands reverse. So I feel like what this is actually, I'm getting it more as like advice, okay? Because I feel like there's going to be moments dur during this month of August, like opportunities for either investments or partnerships or um, to buy property. Um, you know just major decisions like that and I don't know if at, in the moment you're going to feel pressured because you feel like you have to answer really quickly and, and you really don't <laughs> so it's going to be to your benefit to not answer anything quickly now I'm going to remind you guys even though Mercury goes direct either at the end of July or like right at the beginning of August it's still in its shadow period until mid-August okay so it's still not ideal to sign any kind of paperwork or get into any kind of contract so I really feel like in order to prevent any kind of regretful situation it's better to wait wait it out maybe wait three weeks maybe by the third week of August things will be okay all right then we have the two of wands here as future energy Two of Wands. Okay, you're coming up here pretty, looking pretty good with the Queen of Wands. So yeah, it, it it's okay to change direction or to you know uh, go after those opportunities. It's just I feel like that it's really important for you guys to not rush because I see a pattern here where we rushed, there was some setbacks, and then another situation where maybe we're we're going to do it again and rush, and you know we don't want to do that. So take your time. Take your time with your choices. Make sure you're, you know, thinking practically, you know, like you guys would always think. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So practically, logically, Five of Cups reverse again. And the Six of Pentacles reverse again. So here twice. So yeah, as long as you are thinking practically and logically when making these choices, there will be choices this month. 
uh, then you will be able to avoid regret and financial loss. So it's just a heads up reading for you. Okay. I hope that was helpful. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.